Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. As UBS cuts price target of NEO to $5.20 and maintain a neutral rating, for those of you who are ready to panic, please don't sell all at once. Sell only 50 shares on Thursday. That's all I can afford to buy on Thursday. I'll buy another 50 shares. Because if you believe what the <laughs> these fake analysts are saying, then go ahead and sell. But remember, Envo is coming out on September 10th. That's gonna devastate the market. The same way our premium brands have outsold every premium brand in China, the same way I predict our sub brands will do it. Now, picture this, as Envo comes out and floods the market with high end at a, uh, let's say affordable price. What do you guys think will happen? I think only then reality will kick in when we're delivering 10, 15,000 in one week of just the Envo. But what do you also think will happen when we release Firefly next year? and we're flooding the market with another 10,000 of that per week. So now we're looking at 25, 30,000 deliveries, 40,000 deliveries per week, per week. And then <clears throat> we're also working on a six-seater which will be unveiled next year. A six-seater that's in line with Envo brand that will compete against multi-purpose vehicles. Yes, you heard that right. So a six-seater SUV is expected to be unveiled in 2025, next year, along with the ET9, along with Firefly. Mm -hmm. It will rival that of an MPV. Now, a lot of you guys are saying, <clears throat> well, why does it take so long? Well, if you notice how many recalls we have compared to the competition, you will understand why we put it through rigorous testing. In fact, we test in two places that I know of. One is in a place in China with high elevation, cold temperatures, rugged terrain, as well as in Australia with extreme temperatures in deserts, etc., etc. So one of the that's one of the main reasons why. So Neos <clears throat> has changed its uh, logo. It says it will put user interest first experience beyond expectations experience beyond expectations continuous innovation which is what we're doing as we all know it's a computer it's not a, a car and that's why we are leading the premium segment that's why we're going to lead the sub brand segment while others fall behind we are the first in so many different areas like the phone making our own in-house lidar chips etc etc uh, we're the first that will be able to autonomously go and swap the battery and come back. There is battery swapping companies in China that's geared towards the commercial segment, but they don't have swapping. This is why in Germany in my video yesterday I said those German taxi companies in five different cities are using uh, Neo cars now. System efficiency and driven by design. We have the design, the best designers in the world from Italy designing the interior, you know, in terms of the looks of the car, etc., etc. And also, uh, China Robotaxi We Ride, as well as Pony AI, another Robotaxi company, Eyes IPO. Yes, Pony AI is that company that Neo Capital, as well as Toyota, invested heavily into. They are eyeing uh, um, IPO in America coming up, I believe it's in August. So what else happened <laughs> that wants me to buy <laughs> come Thursday, not Friday, sorry, Thursday. I don't know if I said Friday. I'm going to buy 50 more shares on Thursday. China EV insurance registration for week ending July 21st, NEO 4,600. Yes, it's not a fluke. The steam ball effect, that snowball effect, sorry, has taken uh, effect. It, it is happening to where more and more people are recognizing what NEO is. And, and just um, a footnote, that uh, taxi 
in service in Germany that's going to be using Neo is going to help bring even more awareness yet again to our brand. Because picture this, someone sits in a taxi in Germany and they are blown away by the interior, the exterior, the comfort with that great suspension system. And they ask the driver, what kind of car is this? Ah, guess what they will be willing to buy next? So Neo had 4,600. So far this month, Neo had 13,300 insurance registration in China. Tesla 28,400, Xiaomi 7,500, and Xpeng, yes, we all delivered Xiaomi, even though we're high end, Xpeng 5,400, we all delivered Xpeng by a large margin. And major electric vehicle makers continue to see mixed sales. For the week of July, Neo vehicles saw 4,600 insurance registration in China, up 35.29% from 3,400 in the previous week. Lee Auto stopped sharing their data. Neo delivered 21,209 vehicles in June, surpassing May's previous record by 20,544 for a second consecutive record month. You heard that right, and that trend will continue. Like I said, imagine when Envo comes out, it's only then people be like, oh my God, what's happening? Because they're thinking <laughs> that Envo is at a high price range, but it's not. Yet it's great superior technology compared to the brands on that price range. It will hold its Neo Innovation 2024 Tech Day event on July 27, well, where it will unveil it's research and development. So someone was asking me, when is Innovation Day? It's July 27th. Where it will hold its research and development achievements and launch the second generation Neo phone. So also uh, Xpeng. Xpeng delivered 10,688 vehicles in June, up 23% year on year and up 5.1% in May. Also, Tesla had 10,500 insurance registration in China last week, down 7.89% from 11,400 the week before. So I expect all these trends to continue. Uh, the US EV maker sold 59,261 vehicles in China in June, down 20.15% from 74,212 a year earlier. So why is this happening? I've said it before, if you stop innovating and people have a choice and they see what's in front of them, that's what will happen. In America, people are getting more choices with Rivian, <clears throat> with um, Toyota and others that are coming into the market now and Tesla sales are tanking here heavily, in, especially in California as well. Imagine when they have actually real uh, options like when the Chinese come here just like what's happening in China will happen it will replicate itself no matter where we go I hope you guys understand and see the big picture of when Envo comes out and the amount of deliveries when Firefly comes out when that six-seater comes out when ET9 comes out what will happen and what will happen to our stock price and what will happen to the company I see it as this as Ongo comes out and floods the market with that high-end uh, uh, affordable brand, our sales will skyrocket, bringing us that much closer or even to profitability, as well as the amount of them that we'll be using our battery swap stations. Firefly will come out next year, as well as that six-seater, right around the time Donald Trump takes office giving us the gateway to come and build factories. So I hope you guys found this video to be informational, inspirational, and motivational. If so, guys, do not, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. That, that, yep, yep, that, right there, that, thank you. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so. Because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset where we're waking up the middle class for the first time to get a big piece of the pie. And like 50 said, we get rich. Oh, we die trying, guys.